A half century from Henry Nichols has helped the Black Caps recover from a wobbly start in their second test against the West Indies. At lunch, New Zealand were 82 for three and have spent the afternoon battling back. Barry Guy is at the Basin Reserve and joins me now. Barry, there was a lot of talk about apocalyptic winds in Wellington. Has that eventuated? Uh, no, it's uh, no windier really than it has been uh, for most of the last couple of months. We had a few strong gusts. I think the bales got blown off after the very first delivery of the day. Heavy bales got put on. Uh, but uh, it hasn't been too bad at all. I remember days of cricket here, of course, when the cameraman at the southern end on the scaffolding had to get down. It was that windy. But we never got to that situation today. We didn't get the showers that were forecast. And we've got lovely blue skies and some sun and just a little bit of a, a wind northerly at the moment. And the New Zealand batsmen are trying to make the most of it. So, all propaganda about the Wellington weather then. So, uh, let's move on to how the Black Caps have been doing today. Where was that coming from, Lisa, perhaps? <laughs> that bad weather. <laughs> Sorry? How have the Black Caps been going today? Uh, well, it was great that uh, I think that the West Indies won the toss, put New Zealand into bat and uh, got some success straight away, picked up some wickets and put the pressure on the New Zealanders who, of course, playing without Kane Williamson. So the other batsmen really have to stand up. And as you mentioned, Henry Nichols has really been the shining light so far. He's unbeaten on 80, closing in on his uh, sixth test century. And he's had some support of 30s and 20s and 40s and that sort of thing. But what's the score? I think it's uh, 225 for five. They'll be disappointed, the Black Caps, if they don't get over 300. And I think the West Indies will be disappointed if they don't bowl the New Zealanders out for less than 300. So it's been a great first day of a uh, test match compared to last weekend when it was all the New Zealanders. And I think we're in for a good few days ahead. Fantastic. Thanks for joining us. That is Barry Guy from a positively balmy Wellington there at the Basin Reserve uh, for the second test against the West Indies, Black Caps versus West Indies.